Hey there creepy peeps and welcome to another Exhumed movie review. Today we're going to be talking about The Black Room. Really quick though, before I get into that, I want to say a quick thank you to my creepy patron peeps for your support of my channel. Thank you so, so much. If you want to find out the perks to being a creepy patron peep, you can follow that link in the description box. Ignoring an ancient prophecy, evil brother Gregor seeks to maintain his feudal power on his Tyrolean estate by murdering and impersonating his benevolent younger twin, Anton. Obviously, as you would have seen, this stars Boris Karloff as both the evil twin Gregor and his more nicer twin, Anton. I really liked the effect of having them both in the room at the same time. And not only that, but having them in the same frame, I thought it was really well done and it looked really good, um, especially for the time this movie came out. It came out in 1935. And I do know from TV production classes back at UT, it's not that hard of an effect to pull off. <laughs> um, it like you know not to, not to downplay it or anything but you know it isn't that hard of an effect but it did look it like it just looks really good for the time that the movie was made so i thought you know i was surprised by that also <laughs> kudos for this movie for not killing the dog thank you not only that but the dog tour is the freaking hero of the movie um i'm sorry this movie came out long enough ago that i'm just gonna spoil it or whatever um but basically tour is the whole reason why Gregor is defeated. Like, <laughs> Tor gets Gregor to reveal that he is not the younger twin. Um, and then Tor pushes him into the same pit that Gregor pushed his twin into to kill Anton. Um, I should explain first. Basically, uh, Anton, the only way you can really tell them apart is uh, Anton's right arm is uh, paralyzed so he'll like it's always held up here like this um, so there's the whole prophecy that um, since they were both twins the younger twin is gonna kill the older one in the black room um, so they seal up the black room as soon as the twins are born um, and then you know later on the twins are <laughs> older the one Gregor is ruling everything and he's awful um, uh, and he summons his twin back into town um, because he has this nefarious plot to kill his younger twin and pretend to be him um, because Anton is more well liked. So basically that's what it does. Tor is Anton's companion dog. Uh, so Gregor kills Anton in the black room. He pushes him down this pit. Um, right, yeah. So then Gregor has to, you know, keep his arm up here like this, pretend to be Anton. And obviously Tor is having none of this. This dog is too smart and he knows. Um, <laughs> so towards the end of the movie, Tor attacks Gregor in front of everybody at a wedding. And of course, you know, not thinking he uses his right arm to defend himself, which reveals that he is actually Gregor. Um, and then he runs away to hide in the black room. Tor, being the smart dog that he is, also goes there and pushes Gregor's ass into the pit. <laughs> um, it's awesome. I love that the dog is just, ba like the dog is the hero of the movie. You cannot deny the dog is the hero of the movie. Sorry that I just explained the whole movie, but it was kind of necessary. Other than that, I really loved the sets and the costumes in the movie, um, especially um, Taya. I think her character's name is. Um, her dresses were just straight up beautiful. I loved them. I also loved the uh, outdoor like establishing shots and everything too. I don't know where it was filmed, but it looks like just really beautiful and kind of like ancient. I loved it. I did see the end coming a mile away. So obviously we set up the movie with this prophecy that the older one is gonna be killed by the younger one, but then the younger one is killed by the older one in the black room. So you're like, oh, how's this gonna happen? Um, but uh, there's a certain way that he falls into the pit where I won't give that away, I guess. Um, but when you see how Anton dies and in what position and with what objects, <laughs> I'm trying to say this in the most vague way possible since I pretty much spoiled the whole rest of the movie. I gotta keep something a secret. Um, basically when you see it though, you see it coming a mile away. <laughs> you. So <laughs> that's all I'll say, and I'll say that the prophecy is fulfilled by the end of the movie. Um, but you you can tell it. You you know how it's gonna happen from the moment. 
that Anton is killed, you know how it's gonna happen. So if I have to nitpick, Gregor is like the shittiest villain ever. Basically, when the movie starts, it's Anton coming back to town and he's been away for like 10 years or something like that. Um, and you know, you find out that Gregor calls him back to start this plan, like he calls him back so he can kill him and pretend to be him. And in this whole time, he doesn't practice writing with his other hand, doesn't practice anything. He's like the, he gets found out so fast <laughs> um, by one person who he kills. And then obviously at the end of the movie, like I explained with the dog, like he doesn't practice at all. He is the shittiest villain and he deserved to be caught because he was awful at pretending to be his brother just awful. It gets found out really fast and the movie itself is super super short. It is like it's like an hour and eight, and eight minutes. It's really short um, and I think maybe if Gregor had been <laughs> a slightly smarter villain they could have you know stretched it out a little bit longer and made it you know a little more suspenseful and made it harder for everybody to figure out that he was imitating his brother. Um, but you know that's pretty nitpicky. So was the black room worth watching? I say sure. I was it was surprisingly really good. Um, it was a Boris Karloff movie that I didn't know about, so that was nice, you know, to to be able to watch something with such a huge horror star in it that I didn't know about. Um, I'm gonna give it a three out of five. I thought it was pretty good. Um, on IMDb, it has a solid seven out of ten. On Rotten Tomatoes, it doesn't have a critic score, but it has a 60% audience score and nothing on Roger Ebert. Like I do most of my movies, I saw this on Amazon Video, so I'll leave an affiliate link for it in the description box. Um, there's no pressure to use that link, but if you do and you rent the movie using that link, um, I do, you know, the channel does get a little bit of support. All right, so if you've seen The Black Room, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about it. As always, you can find me at all the normal social media places. The links for those are in the description. Uh, you can also find me on my blog at nightmaremaven.com, morbidlybeautiful.com, and on their YouTube channel, as well as patreon.com slash nightmaremaven if you want to check that out and support my channel. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here and become a creepy peep today. I post videos Monday through Friday. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay strange. Bye!